workout, right? We have a dumbbell pyramid, okay? So lead to the work is uh, goal. You know, hold on to one set of dumbbells for the entire workout, okay? Uh, we're going to start on the ground, all right? Work ourselves up and then go back down to the ground again. So we start from the floor, we end up in a standing position, we go back down to the floor, all right? So there's one pyramid. The other pyramid is it all goes by up by one rep. So we'll do one push up, one row, one lunge on each leg, one squat, one RDL, one burpee, one row on each side, okay? Then two, 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 all the way through, all the way up to 10, okay? And then from 10, back down to one, okay? So we're, we're, we got a pyramid with the, not only the actual movements, but also with uh, the, uh, the rep ranges also. So um, any questions on, so it's a challenge workout, guys. All right, goal being to get through this as fast as possible. Uh, that being said, there is a 30 minute cap on the workout also. So if it takes you over 30, you know, at 30 minutes, well, you have to get it done before then, okay? Any questions on uh, the way that's working today? Nope. Good? All right, let's go through the, dumb the uh, dumbbell movements real quick so that we're all on the same page. All right. So, uh, guys, we started down now. Uh, push up wise, you can keep your hands on the dumbbell if you want to, or you can put them off to the side. I'm just going to be down here with it. But um, our push up, right? High to the position, your shoulder stack, leg looks like tight, weight shift over the palm, all the way down, drag it up, right back to the top. If I can't get all the way down from my toes, I'm going to my knees, okay? You still want to get all the way down at full range of motion with every push up, right? Only strong enough range of motion you use, so if you don't go all the way down, you're not going to get strong enough to. One inch all the way down there, right? Um, being that it's a building up one, you know, start on your toes. You know, maybe you get the one rep, the two rep, the three rep, and then you have to go back to the knees, but you started with a couple of the harder ones and then build yourself up, okay? So we're gonna start with that push up. So you can finish that rep, all right? You start to pop up, hands back, elbows to the ribs, put it back down, okay? So when we go into that row, we right, elbows right next to the rib cage, all right? Now high, we're gonna pull into the neck. Should be coming right along the edge of the body. We want to make sure our chest is parallel to the floor. Okay? The whole idea, guys, is going against gravity. We're trying to activate those lats. So we need to make sure that we are perpendicular, all right, to uh, gravity so that we are getting as much pressure against it as possible. So you have a uh, bent up row, starting with one, okay? Uh, guys, if dumbbells you have have been too heavy for it, all right, we're standing up with it, go ahead, a little bit of a stagger, you can go right side. All right, the left side, use the hand on the knee to give yourself a little bit of support. So if two dumbbells is too much pressure, too heavy, go with the staggered position. That way you can do each arm um, and not break form, okay? Finish those ones, all right? After you finish your row, right? Finish that row, we're gonna stand up, all right? Go forward, one into each a forward lunge. Right side and left side, one each, all right? Start with the two each and four lunges, okay? When you step forward, front your vertical, back knee goes towards the floor. You don't want to be traveling onto that toe. Make sure we to the heel, drive back to the top. If forward is too hard, right, drop into a reverse lunge, all right? Or if, if moving from the reverse lunge is too much, stay in position, all right? Split squat, one on each side, all right? So, you have your lunges, finish with lunges, dumbbells now come up, elbows into the ribs, flashlights forward. As you squat, elbows push away from the body, Abs tight, drive back to the top. As you come out of the bottom of the hole, guys, abs need to be engaged. So right here, I'm gonna squeeze my belly nice and tight as I drive up, so not to flex forward and put the pressure into my lower back, okay? So starting with one there. Again, if two dumbbells are too heavy, drop it down, bring it to one, okay? So you have uh, your uh, front squats, then dumbbells are gonna come down, shoulder blades tight, hinge back, hips back, back flat, you have your RDL. Again, we get those hips back, make sure the back's nice and flat, chin's down. We don't want to hyperextend our neck. I'm going to keep that low back tucked in, shoulders tight. Hands should trace along my thighs as I go. All right? Then starting with one, go from there. Finish your RDLs, keep the dumbbells in your hand, drop it down, pop it up. So we do one burpee, okay? If the weighted burpee is too much, finish the weights, regular burpee, okay? Um, you guys are going to. Go with those. If you don't want to jump, go ahead and jump with those. Make it even harder. You can turn it into a man maker. I want you to stand, bring them up, and press from there. Okay? 
Once you finish your burpees, all right, you back down to the ground, high plank, wrist shoulder stack up, it's nice and tight. Elbow pulls against the rib cage, all right, one on each side of the start, all right, and then go there, you guys ready to grow. If my hips are rocking back and forth, my butt's sticking up, I'm gonna take it to my knees, toes dug in, chest forward, elbows to the ribs from there, okay? Then we started all that homework, right? So I just finished my rows, right? Finish my rows, start back over. I now do two push ups, all right? Pop up, hinge, all right? Two rows. You see how this is gonna flow through, guys, right? So we're gonna keep moving, trying to get ourselves up to 10, right? So here, okay? So that's the way you guys wanna transition through that workout. Okay, nice and quick. So each one of these exercises runs directly into the next one, right? There's no changing. There's nothing that you have to do differently, okay? The previous one is basically a part of the next one, okay? So that way, each one of these workouts moves quickly through so that we can try to build ourselves up to 10 and work our way back down to one. So questions, comments, concerns? Are you going to have the board going? Yeah, I'm the, gonna board will, the board will be up the entire time. Yeah, I already okay. said are we doing 10 twice or just 10 and then back down to nine? Just 10 once. 10 is the only one that's done once. Everything else is done twice. Can most people get through this in 30 minutes? It can be done. That's a serious question. Yeah, you got you to move. You, you got to move. You got to bring it I was just like envisioning not being able to get through the, the up to the 10 and then I'm like, oh, and back down. Okay. Yeah, I, come back I down. agree. <laughs> I concur. Yeah. It's not meant to be easy. All right. Not meant to be easy. Words to live by. All right. That's Greg, Greg's yeah. motto. Huh? That's Greg's motto. Yep. All right. All right, guys. Let's go with that warm up. Let's start down on the ground. We're going to start with our windmills. Lay down on the right side. All right. Tuck your knees up. All right. Hands out in front. Try to get that back shoulder to the floor as you open up, and then come back over the top. Big opening motion, open the chest, and the spine. Yo, 30 seconds, guys. Get going. Over here, so much more. Start your 30 Good. Try to keep them tucked up, guys. Keep your knees tucked up, almost like you're curling into a little bit of a ball. And roll over other side. Go other side in three, two, let's go. Big opening motion, guys. You want to open that chest up, and I'm trying to rotate that spine. So I want to get my chest uh, stretch. I want to get my spine moving. All right. Two, one, and find your stomach. All right. From there, guys, you go. Arms out, thumbs up, right arm, left leg, keep the chin down. Little pause at the top, activate the shoulder, activate the glute. So right arm, left leg, all right? Make sure, guys, the only thing that's activating is the glute, so I don't want to bend that knee at all. I'm going to make sure the leg stays locked out straight. Butt cheek fires up to lift the left foot off the ground, all right? As you lift the shoulder, just the shoulder moves, okay? Keep the head down, neutral spine. Three, two, one. Bring it into a high plank position, all right? You step right before the left leg back, you push down, elbow down towards the heel, grab back, the back of the hand trim. So I'm kind of in an open leg position, okay, I'm going to drop the elbow down, grab the pull. Stay low, do not stand up, all right? You may not be able to stretch the leg out completely straight, and that's fine, all right? I don't expect it to go all the way, but I need you guys to stretch that hamstring the best you can, all right? So drop that elbow down towards the heel, 
Wrap around, pull back on that hamstring. We're gonna do both sides, guys. Four seconds, three, two, and switch legs. Bring that foot up outside the palms, then drop down, wrap and pull. Good, three, two, stand up. I'm gonna step back with my right leg. I'm gonna reach over my left. So it goes back, I reach away from it, try to open up this hip, and alternate sides. So I want you to step away uh, from the back leg. So if your right leg goes back, you turn to the left. So step away from that stretching leg. There you go, good. Good, 15 more seconds, guys. Big stretch, open those hips up. Good, stand tall. Feet just over shoulder width apart, big wide. Shoulder blades are tight, I'm gonna get my squat first. All the way down, let them down. Hands down, hips up, hips down. Arms up, stand up. So start with the overhead squat. All the way down. Hands down. Hips up, hips down. Arms up, stand up. All right, don't rush it. So squat first. Hands down, hips up, hips down. Arms up, stand up. Here you guys, good, keep them going. Three, two. All right, guys, get the heart rates up. Hands by your side. Get up, pull down. You have 90 seconds to jump the jacks. Go. Nice job, guys. Good. Let's get those heart rates up. Get that blood flowing. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys. So, get your dumbbells. All right. Board is behind. Okay. All right, guys. Everybody ready to go? No, I can't see that, Greg. Uh, do you, what do you have? What do you have? What are you reading it on? Uh, you're on my phone. Uh, I can't see it um, all right. Well, I'll, I'll call them out as best I can with it. Um, okay. You know, and well, make sure you have. Right make sure that I'm the only screen that you're looking at. Don't see any of the other screens. Yeah, I you just see it really quick. I'm gonna write it down. All right. Yeah, push up, row. Lunge, front squat, RDL, whoa, whoa. burpee. Whoa. Push up, row, lunge, that's all I heard. Front squat. <laughs> yeah. RDL. Yeah. yeah. Burpee. Renegade row. Push up. Is it? Row. Push up, bent over row. Yep. There's only seven exercises only. Yep. Double row. All right, guys. Lunge. Once you guys start moving through it, you'll you'll 
understand how it kind of flows from the bottom to the top and it goes. So you'll be able to uh, just continue throw. Hey, Greg. Yeah. Bent over. Uh, bent over row is standing up and renegade row, you're on the ground in kind of a push up position. Yes. Okay. Yep. Oh, got it. Right, right, right. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Is everybody good now? All right, guys, here we go. Starting in. Got 10 seconds. Starting with the push ups. Four, three, two, one, and go. So one push up. Good. Then you pop up into your bent over rows. All right. Bring that dumbbells up. Go into your lunges. All right. From your lunges to your front squats. Front squat to RDL. RDL to burpee. And burpee to renegade row. Start back over. All right, and then right back to the push-ups. All right, they all flow, guy. Everything, everything moves together, guys. So once you finish one, it's right into that next one. All right, it is good. Make sure front chin stay nice and vertical on those lunges, guys. All right, remember, single arm, single leg exercises, and one on each side. Good front squats, elbows high. There we go. Try to get all the way down, guys. Remember, we want those push-ups to go about one to two inches off the ground with your chest. It is good. Keep them up, guys. Come on. All right. Each track flow, one exercise right into the next. It is good. There you go. Stabilize those hips on those renegade rows, guys. So if you need to widen the feet, widen the feet a little bit. There you go. Start to feel how it moves from one exercise directly to the next, right? The only breaks you're taking are the ones you need to to breathe, all right? Keep those backs flat on those hinges, right? Hips are back, backs are flat. All right, we're trying to get as parallel to the floor as possible so that we're not pulling it up into our necks. All right, we're trying to hinge all the way down there. That is good. Nice push ups all the way down. And it's good, guys. Nice job. Good squats. Nice job, guys. Stay tall with it, right? Make sure we lock in that form. So, we start to break down, pause for a second, take that rest, all right? We want that quality. So quality movements only, all right? Don't just move to move. My 
Nice job, guys. Good. What are you guys doing? It goes up. It seems to go up really fast until those reps start getting much higher. Sorry, that was me yelling at my kids. <laughs> We go. Good, guys. Keep those backs flat. All right. Make sure we got a good hinge when we go into that bent over row. So we don't want to just bend over. We want to use that hinging motion. Hips are back. Backs are flat. There you go. Good. Nice front shins. As we step into those lunges, guys, remember, as soon as that heel touches, weight goes straight down and doesn't want to travel forward, okay? There you go, good. Use those weights as your counterbalances. There you go, good. Nice shot, guys, good. We go. Good. Nice shot. Keep that chest nice and tall on those squats. All right. Don't let it pull you down. There you go, guys. Rest as you need to, but don't take more than you have to. So as soon as you start to feel that fatigue, like things are breaking down, pause for a second. Breathe it in. All right. Then get back into it. There we go, good, nice shot, come on. There you go. Nice shot, good, keep them going guys. Good flat backs. All right, make sure you're getting full range on those push-ups, guys, all right? One to two inches off the ground. Even if you fall down, all right? Let yourself fall down. Don't go short, all right? You only get strong in the range of motion, so get that full range, all right? Falling down 10 times is 100 times better than doing 1,000 half push-ups, okay? Nice job, guys. Come on, keep them going.
Nice job, good. There you go, good. Melissa, bring your hands closer together. Keep the feet where they are, but bring your hands a little tighter. There you go. There you go, good. Stand all the way up with those headers so when you stand tall, okay? If you, if you stay bent over, you're gonna leave pressure in your back, okay? You gotta finish it off, all the way up. It is good. Good pace, guys. Keep them going. Remember, as the reps increase, guys, if things start to get heavy, take it down to one dumbbell, all right? If, you know, the rows at three reps are fine, but the rows at six reps are too hard, and we're compromising our form, then go into a single. Give yourself some support. There you go, good. Let that back knee bend, good. Good hinge, good chin, chin down when you go down on those hinges, Aaron. All right, don't let your head come up. Good job, guys. Keep breathing it in. All right, rest as you need to. Remember. There you go, good. There you go, guys, good, nice job. Try to keep those exercises linked, right? Try to flow one to the next. There you go, nice job, good. Come on, come on. Keep them going, guys. We're about halfway through, right? We're about halfway through that pyramid.
Reset that spine, Dre. You're starting to round a little bit. Stand tall, lock your shoulders, and then come back down. Stand, lock, and then hinge. You're starting to round there. You're gonna feel that in your back later, okay? Lots of volume today, guys. Volume's gonna be extremely high. There you go, Dre, good. Good, decelerate, nice job. There you go, good. Keep them up, guys. Nice job, Aaron. Good. Hey, right, it's good, guys. All right. Take that breath when you need it. Good hinges, hips are back, keep them nice and flat. There you go, Marcel, you got it, come on. Nice work, Katie, keep them going. Keep pushing, guys. You got it. Nice work. It's going to get really tough, guys. Keep them up. Yo, guys, good? Way to keep moving, guys. Awesome job. Keep it up. There you go. Nice work, Aaron. Good. Come on. There you go, breathe it in. There you go, 
go, guys. Good. Come on. Hey, you guys, good? We got 10 minutes left, guys. Hmm. Nice job, guys. Come on, keep them going, keep them going. Nice work, Melissa, there you go, good. Here we go. Hi, Greg. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good. Helping mom work out? Yes. All right. Nice job, guys. Good. Come on. Keep the form tight, guys, right? Rest as you need to. Don't push through and give you bad form, right? Lock down. It's a challenge, all right? So we want to make sure we maintain good position the entire time. There you go. Lock that plank out. Nice work, guys. Come on. There you go, good. Nice job, Katie. There you go. Nice shot, Melissa. Good. Here it is. Good. Nice work, guys. Way to dig, guys. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Come on. Nice shot. There we go. Nice 
Nice flat backs. There you go, good, Melissa. There you go, good. You guys are down to that last five minutes. Awesome work, guys. Come on. Breathe them in, breathe them in, breathe them in. You need to break each exercise apart at the end here, that's fine, right? Take a deep breath, do one, all right? Take a deep breath, all right? Try to link those reps in. Try not to rest in the middle of a set, all right? If you enter into the lunges, you finish the lunges. You enter into the push-ups, you finish the push-ups. Nice job, guys. Come on. Three minutes left. As far as you can, guys. All right? Even if we don't finish, we're going to try to get as far as we can. Come on. Here we go. Breathe it in, guys. Two minute warning. Give it the best you got, guys. Come on. Nice shot, nice shot. Come on, keep digging, keep digging. As far as you can get. Nice work, guys. Come on, come on. Almost there, almost there. Come on. Keep digging. You got one minute left, guys. Get as far as you can. Let's go. Way to work. Just commit, just commit. There we go, there we go, come on. Thirty seconds. 
Nice work, guys. You got this. Come on. Finish strong. Finish strong. Ten seconds. Three, two, and rest, guys. All right, guys, breathe for a minute. Finisher, okay? So, as I said, you're gonna need um, a kettlebell, all right, for the finisher. All right, we're gonna be going back and forth. We're gonna do um, jump squats, all right, and kettlebell swings. So we're gonna get the quads and the glutes, all right? So it's gonna be 20 seconds of jump squats, speed squats, all right? 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of swings, all right? Back and forth, you're gonna end up doing a total of uh, eight rounds, all right, so four of each, okay? So it's going to be jump squats for 20 seconds, 10 seconds of rest, all right, and then swings for 20 seconds, all right? Four minutes and we're done, all right? So I know you're not excited, Melissa. I can tell. I'm going all right, guys, we're going to start them up with the, uh, the jump squats. All right. All right. Here we go, 10 seconds, guys. Jump squats first. Here we go. Four. Three, two, one, and jump squats, go. There he is, fire him off, right? Lay it soft, right? It's that next rep, all right? Get him working, guys, let's go. It's only 20 seconds of work. Good, two, one. Over to your kettlebell. Swing, start in five, Four, three, two, one, and go. Hinge back, hips back, backs flat, chins are down. Remember guys, we're not lifting the kettlebell, we're driving it forward with our hips, okay? Standing tall, abs nice and tight at the top. Use those glutes guys, glutes and hamstrings, glutes and hamstrings. Two, one, rest. All right, back to your jump squat. Starting in five, four, Three, two, one, and go. There it is, drive it up guys, come on. Create that power, create that power. Nice work, 10 seconds. Three, two, good. On to kettlebell. Four, three, two, one, and swing it. Good swings, power the hips, power through the hips, power through the hips. There it is, good, nice job guys. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight at the top. Stand tall, don't arch backwards. We wanna stand straight up and down. Five seconds. Two, rest. Halfway through it guys. We go, four, three, two, one, and go. Get that pop, get that pop. Nice shot, there we go, there we go, 10 seconds. Three, two, and rest. Here we go, here we go. Three, two, and swing it. Nice shot, guys. There it is. There it is. Butts are tight. Butts are tight. Ten seconds. 
Nice work, guys. Drive through, drive through. Rest. Last set. Here we go. Let's get those quads working, right? Drive up. All right. One rep right into the next one. Go. Is it. Last time you got to do it. Give it your best. Give it your best. Come on. Last set. Best set. Best effort. Here we go. Keep it up. Keep it up. You got five seconds to work here. Come on. Two. One. This is it. Let's finish strong. You got 20 seconds to finish it off. Four, three, two, one, and go. Good hinges. Hips are back. Backs are flat. Drive those hips forward. Squeeze your butt nice and tight at the top. There we go. You guys got 10 seconds left. Let's go. Finish strong. Five seconds. Don't quit it early. Three, two, one, and done. Nice work, guys. Way to finish it off, guys. All right. Let's get it. I don't miss you. Right. I don't miss you anymore. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get a little stretch. Start down. Back heel in position. Okay. Knees down, toes down. There, I'm going to squeeze my butt cheek, shift my head forward. My right knees down, my right hand to the air. Open up the front here. All right. So I want you to squeeze your glute. Nice and tight, so butt cheeks tight. That's gonna cause the front to relax. All right, reach that arm up nice and high so you're trying to get your hand as far away from your hip as possible. Two, switch. <laughs> Drive the glutes forward, open up the hip flexors. Okay, from that position, guys, I'm gonna take that front knee, I'm gonna cross it over. And lay it down. <laughs> Two, one, switch sides. And three, two, and stand. We're just going to do a uh, fold. All right, so stand tall. Let yourself hang down. Don't force it. Just hang here. All right, while you're hanging here, take a deep breath in. Stand the ribs. Exhale. Just hang, take a deep breath, and exhale. And relax, guys. Good work, guys. Thank you, Greg. No problem with that. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. You too. Bye, everyone. Bye. That was pretty fucking awful. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it. Oh, my God. I don't think that whole back down to one thing is realistic. It, it is a longer workout. Um, but, you know, we have time. So. Yeah. But I literally only got to eight second eight push ups, so that's fine. And I was it's, gassed. It's a challenge workout. Yeah. I mean if you can finish it, freaking amazing. If you can't finish it, that's okay because it's just gonna work on trying to get better the next time you do it. Sure. So depending on how we do this, you know, on the state might have to bring it back. All right. Thank you. Um have a good one. Thanks, Greg. No problem. Bye. 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 How are you feeling there, Heather? Really, really tight, and I could, it's like swollen a little right. bit. Like, I definitely, like, I didn't, I felt like a tiny, like, not pop, like, I don't think I, like, but I, I as soon as I went to go do the RDL, yeah, it was like, fuck you. Okay. And I, and I, it was like spasming for a minute. I had to try to walk it off. <laughs> Yeah, it's awesome. at all. So I'm going to ice right now. Yep. Uh, definitely foam roll. I'm fucking, I'm fucking taking Advil. I don't give a fuck. I need it for the inflammation. Like, everybody in there, don't take this shit. You know what? Whatever. If I'm meant to die because I took Advil, fuck it. <laughs> it does. <laughs>
Yeah, I mean, right now, just also foam roll your hips, front and back sides. It's, like, uh, right, it's right here, which is a yeah, weird because spot. because right now what's going on also is, like, you got some, something's tight and pulling right now. Yeah. So, um, without you know what I think it is? I think it's, I think it's upper body with me because I end up you know, doing this, and then it attacks me. It might be that. All right. So something well, started last week when we did something. I think it was, like, last Thursday where I remember I was, like, something's off a little bit. And it just progressively kept getting a little bit more. Okay. Well, so I just got to be careful. Foam, yeah. Foam roll of the hips. Stretch yep. everything. Okay. Take it easy this weekend. I am. Right. I'll just walk. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank you. No problem.